Hi, I'm Tom from TC Environmental Service. We're a local San Diego tree company offering all phases of tree trimming, Hi, Tom. lacing, removals, and stump grinding. Today I'm going to teach you how to change teeth on the front of a stump grinder. This is my new YouTube video. Alright, this is a uh, Rayco stump grinder and it's got dull teeth, so we're going to change the teeth out. Pause it. Alright, these machines run pockets. There's different types of uh, there's different types of pockets that you can put on these machines, but this one runs the bolt pockets. If you look in here, you've got these bolts. We've got to clean the dirt out of here in order for a tool to go in there, which is this bad boy right here. It goes on the end of a breaker wrench, and, uh, and we use a long pipe afterwards for the leverage we need. I'm going to clean these out, and I'll be right back. If you look over here, you can see how bad this tooth is. It's, it's wasted. We've got to take it off. So on the most, most of these wheels, we've got little holes. I take an extension, something I'm going to get rid of. It's not going to work for anything else. It gets hammered and, and wasted. And I stick them in these holes. Fits perfectly. It plugs it up so that it doesn't spin. I put it far enough back. I put it far enough back so that when I get it, my wheel's sitting in front. It's just like that. Then you want to push the front end of the machine down to the ground. Stand back, Dave. Front end of the machine down to the ground. And then you put your tool in. You want to make sure it's in there all the way or it'll strip. So you kind of to just pop it in. And then I loosen. I use this kind of tool so that uh, it swivels after I get it down in certain ways. You really want to get these things in there too because it's dangerous if they don't go in just right they could actually come off while you're using the machine and fly forward so we don't want that to happen so i'll get this teeth uh, these pockets loose and i'll be right back okay i got this pocket loose but now we got a problem is this tooth here won't come out it's kind of wedged in there so i got a little secret for that pull out your pen spin it back around and you take a long screwdriver like this bad boy you come in through the back of it and then you just pop it out. And that should do it. What wrong hole? There it is. Now when you reinstall it, it's just the exact opposite. You throw the pin in the front. You don't have to hold the machine down. You want to get it kind of close to the top like the other side. I don't think it was going down. There you go. We slide our new teeth in. Much sharper edge on them. And then tighten them up. I'll tighten this up and I'll be right back. Okay, now I got the new teeth in and I'm just going to tighten them up once again. Make sure you're in all the way. I usually get a little tap. You want to do snug and then you go to the other side so that you don't get it uneven. Okay, and once you got that, then you throw your torque move on it with, this, with your big pipe. Put that big pipe on it. Get some leverage. Make sure you get these things tight. Like I said, they can come off. We don't want that happening. This is going to be a good noise when you hear the. There it is. We're good. Just had to change some teeth. Now you just do the same thing for the rest of the teeth, and you're good. Thanks for watching.